David. Tom, good evening. Shane Warne is your expert subject. Uh, why are you a fan? Is it his off-field antics or his cricket? He's a sporting Icarus that sometimes flies too close to the sun. <laughs> I think he walks around on the sun sometimes, doesn't he? In, in a fantastic range of underwear, yes. Yes. <laughs> well, being a fan of his cricket, how do you cope with his off-field behaviour? Does it annoy you or you just don't pay attention to it? Uh, he's a flawed genius on some levels, but basically he's just another bloke who can't keep his pants zipped. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met him? I've seen him in action. I was this close to him once in uh, South Africa, but I haven't actually met him. OK, what, what is that? What, this close, what is that? <laughs> he was coming off the field and I was yelling out to him, but a security dog was in the way, so we didn't get to speak. OK, what, what did you yell at him? I said, oh, well, bold Shane or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> when you said you were that close, I was picturing you behind him at the urinal. <laughs> G'day, Shane. <laughs> You're a crime reporter. Guilty. For The Post. It's a suburban paper in Perth, is that right? That's right. So what kind of crime reporting do you do? Do you, like, write reports about stolen wheelie bins? Uh, <laughs> teenagers driving unlicensed vehicles, Tom. Oh, hoons. Hoons. Yeah. Uh, often after 9pm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> unregistered dogs. Yeah, oh. There's a lot of that about. Yeah, unregistered dogs. Um, everything from A to B, really. Oh, and back right. again. So you work at an independent newspaper yes. that makes money? Yes, I'm afraid so. What the f*** is going on there? <laughs> I don't know. We're the last newspaper in the country that's not owned by Rupert Murdoch or Kerry Stokes. I don't know what's <laughs> Hey! We've got to show balance here. We, we, we're also fans of their work as well. <laughs> <laughs>